friends, it's Miss Kathy. Uh, it's ready for today's experiments. I've got a cup of water and a cup of sugar. One plus one should equal two, right? Let's see what happens. We're going to pour the sugar into the water. until it dissolves. So it's going to take a little bit of time for the sugar to completely dissolve in the water. So you may want to take a break, read a book for a few minutes, and come back and check your solution. So we're back, friends. Did your sugar dissolve into the water? All right. Take a close look. Does your new solution reach all the way to the two mark because remember one cup of sugar and one cup of water we should have got to two right mine didn't quite make it to the two line why is that one plus one should be two right well there's actually space between your water molecules where the sugar slid in let me demonstrate this is my model of water. And this is a water molecule. There's one atom of oxygen and two atoms of hydrogen. And when you fill them in the bowl, right, if it's water, you can see that there's still space in between. So when you put your sugar in, The sugar fills in all the spaces between your water molecules, and that's why the level didn't raise all the way to two cups. So in our last experiment, it took a while for the sugar to dissolve. So I wonder, does the temperature of the water make a difference? For this experiment, you're going to need half a cup of hot water. Tap water is fine. Half a cup of room temperature water and half a cup of ice water and a package of unsweetened drink mix. Any flavor is fine, it doesn't matter. I would choose a darker colored one just because it'll be easier to see. And what you're going to do is take about a mm, quarter teaspoon or so and pour it in each cup and see which one dissolves the quickest. Hmm. I don't know. Hard to tell, I think. They're all dissolving pretty quickly, but I would have to say, what do you think? I would have to say the hot water is dissolving a little bit faster. It looks a little bit bluer than definitely the cold water. Right? And then once you're done observing and figuring out which temperature water dissolves the fastest, you can add all your water. Plus your sugar water from the last experiment and the rest of the drink mix and add it to a pitcher, fill it up with water, and you have it tasty something to drink. Our first experiment today, we created a solution. We mixed together sugar and water until the sugar dissolved and it became a solution. For this last experiment, we are going to take a solution apart. What you need is a glass, a smaller glass or a little dish for mixing, water, a paper clip, a pencil, your pipette, a coffee filter, some scissors, and some food coloring. You could also do this experiment with some permanent markers or even more fun, hard candy, Jolly Ranchers, Jelly Beans, M&Ms, Skittles, all right? And I'll explain how you use those as we go along. First step, you're going to cut a strip out of your coffee filter. All right. And then you're going to attach it to your pencil with the paper clip. 
and you want it to reach to the bottom of your glass. So you may have to experiment a little and adjust where the paper clip is holding it so that it reaches the bottom of the glass. Then you're going to take your other glass for mixing and your food coloring, or if you're using a marker, you can add a little dab of color, each of the colors, one on top of the other, about an inch from the bottom of your strip. Or if you're using the candies, put one color of the candy in the cup. All right. So first, I'm going to use my food coloring. One drop of yellow. One drop of red. And one drop of blue. Then we're going to mix them all up with the end of our pipette and then suck up some of the color. What did we get? Looks pretty black to me. And then we're going to take our paper strip and about an inch from the bottom, just put one little drop of our color solution. All right. And then you're going to put it back in the cup and then you're going to carefully Pour in, oh, about half an inch of water so that the water can be absorbed by the paper coffee filter. And you should see your solution start to separate. You can see the one I made earlier. I've got a little bit of red, pink here. I can see a little bit of blue. It keeps moving up and up and up my paper strip. Once my paper strip is dry, it would make a great little bookmark to remind you of your experiment. You could try uh, using different shapes of coffee filter and see if that makes a difference in your experiment. And that's it. I'll see you next time.